Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's having a good weekend and a good Sunday. Well today, here we are. We're working on Oh Runs Deep. We've got about another 14 inches to go guys. I turned this around because uh, the back part that is already done was getting really heavy. So I decided just to move it and turn it around and that way the light side was uh, at this end. Got to find my thing. Today I just wanted to diamond paint. You ever just have one of those days you just want it to be simple? I've been doing a lot of stitching and I just needed to get away from it. Whoops, sorry my bad uh, for a bit I just you're just we're done yeah that that's where I'm at today because I'm tired I'm not fighting it it's just I want it so badly to turn out that uh, it, it's it's just being difficult with me and my brain and I think I'm just tired from work and not being able to uh concentrate as well unless I'm doing like mundane stuff you know like going around the edges or whatever I need a an in-between type project um, so I'll probably be working on uh, something that's already stamped in between all that because it, it I've taken on two great big huge projects so here we are so I just wanted to diamond paint something simple and something that was already set up and I didn't have to think about, you know, how I was going to design, not design, but color it or whatever and, or follow a great big pattern. So just didn't feel like stitching today, taking a day off from it. Sometimes you just got to do that because it, it, you get immersed. So I, and I just feel caged, I guess. I don't know. Like, I should be working on it, but, you know, here we are. So, yeah, this is what we're doing. I love this Aurora Borealis. It's the white and it's the snow that's going along the bottom of this. Got to move some of them around here. I haven't done a lot of diamond painting this week. I worked yesterday, uh, last night, because like I said, I just need to do something different. Um, and instead of starting a new project, which I usually do, I just thought I'd work on my beaded cross stitch for a while, because I don't really have to pay attention to a pattern. Uh, it's already there, you know, just sew the beads on, so you need to, to do that every once in a while. It kind of refreshes your palette, so that's why we're, we're diamond painting today. Oh, I missed. I haven't used this thing with a squishy on it for a while, so I just thought, you know, sometimes you just have to change the whole thing up you know, and do something quite different. Molly says hi. She's over here barking away. I don't know what they're doing next door, but they've been doing a lot of moving vehicles around and, you know, going places, so I'm and they've been coming and going, so she's been really busy, you know, because she owns the the whole park, you know. I mean, at least according to her, she does. But uh, I found that these uh, Aurora Borealis go on usually easier with um, the multiplacer every once in a while, because it'll just take the the whole what do you call it, wax right out of it, so I 
try to use the multiplacer as much as I can, but right here I had a few spares that just went in there individually. But I just thought we'd work on this part. It looks a whole lot more interesting than that sky. That sky put you to sleep. It's like my Chinese women, you know. It's something you got to work on a little bit at a time. I usually save it for last. But I'm trying... Whoops. Crap. Okay, that's not undone. Um, to uh, make it all go across. I'm trying to meet up with the the bottom of the church, you know, the yard and all this this snow and it looks like it's all one color but it, it truly isn't. There's several here that are different. I to find my plus symbol. I'm using the it's a, a sticker that I got from uh, Diamond Art Club. So I use it because the key is either at one end or the other. There are two keys on the actual diamond painting, but this works better in hand. I love this 775. It is so pretty. Love that pale seafoam green. Yeehaw. There's a lot of these. My son sent me a picture of the white tiger face that he got. I guess they got it from Amazon because they weren't ordering from any place else, you know. They're still in the the baby steps, you know, where they they like it, but they don't want to have to put a whole lot of money into it. But he got a beautiful white tiger face to do. I haven't seen that one. I've seen it in the regular tiger, but... Not the white tiger. I'm trying to work along here. Ah! I didn't pull it back far enough. I figure I'm right here. I might as well do it. So, like I said, I've been doing a lot of stitching and I've been listening to my uh, audio books and just kind of trying to relax and get through the work week. I have two days down and two to go, so we just get through it a week at a time, which helps. Just cover that back up. Using my little needle minder teddy bear to hold my plastic back. It, at least he's trying here. He's trying. Ah! And I have this one. It's just kind of hanging fire. It doesn't doesn't have a the extra magnet. So I just was trying to keep them together there so I didn't lose them. I'll be on the lookout for some bigger things that I can make into uh, needle minders. Since I have a whole box of magnets that I bought from uh, Amazon. I just want to get some bigger things to make into needle minders, maybe more seasonal appropriate, you know, because I haven't found anything at our thrift store that I could use lately. Sometimes they have a lot of stuff, but right now they're kind of trying to recoup from Christmas, so they'll be filling it all back up, and they get a lot of donations from people here and there. So, you just kind of got to scour that place. Because they have lots of little nooks and crannies. It's not as charming as it seems, trust me. It's a great big room, like, like if you will, like a great big grocery store without all the shelves, you know, in there. They have lots of racks of clothing. That's the biggest thing that they, they get. So, they have a good variety of clothing. And then they have, have it all separated down into, uh, you know, like linens and books. They have a whole room in books, you know, for people of all ages. And uh, then they have uh, glassware, you know, like dishes and stuff like that. So you just kind of sort through it. Now there is a bigger, we'll call it thrift store for 
lack of what it's called. Um, down in uh, about 35 miles away, down in Salida, that we go to, and it's called Caring and Sharing, and it's like five, you could fit three of the one that I have here, three buildings inside of it. It's huge. And they have lots of glassware, so we haven't been down there because my daughter's car was down, and we finally got that fixed. Now she's getting a different car. It's like, just let me know when you're all are, are set up, and Come on. So, seriously. Well, I just love it when a bead does that and it can't pick it up. Okay, it's right where it needs to be. Perfect. I planned on doing that, right? Okay. I'm trying to get you up close enough so you can see. I'm looking for a color here. Three, three, two, five. It's another pretty blue. It's just gorgeous. And the, the diamonds just sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. There's lots of shades of blues in the white air um, aurora borealis in this. Down here in this snow. So I'm sure it'll be gorgeous when it's done. But we just work on it a little bit at a time. There's no rush. I might have it finished by Christmas this year. What do you think? But I work on it periodically. Like I say, sometimes I work on this. Sometimes I work on the Chinese women. Um, it just depends. I like the colors and I like the colors in all my diamond paintings because I chose them <coughs> that way. Sorry, guys. Molly. Hey. Oh, I know. She's just wants to go out and yap with her friend. There's another. We have like a clear, like chain link fence down there, so she can see the other dog. So they have to go down there and bark at each other. I should say Molly barks at the other dog. The other dog doesn't bark at Molly. She just looks at her like she's crazy. Which she is, partially. She's been caged too long. So. I keep, I'm trying to feel my way there. I didn't know how much I had exposed. I wanted to get it on the light pad, but... Sometimes that don't work. So, I gotta go to work today from 2 to 9. It's quite cold. It's supposed to snow tonight. Way after I get home. It's like 5 o'clock and... Monday morning. So we'll see how much snow we get. You know, sometimes we get a lot. Sometimes it don't even happen at all. So I don't hold my breath. As long as it doesn't cage me in and I can get to work. Oh, there's one of them way up there. Sorry for the reach. Trying to come down. Woo. Here. These are all going to have to be rolled when it's done. This thing's been moved about 500 times. Finally got all the Christmas crap done. I don't know if I put away. Thank goodness. Boy, I was sick of looking at that stuff. You know, when you're just done, you're just done. I was done before I started, but, you know. I didn't want to do it, and I kept putting it off. and Crazy. Just, I don't know. Just mixed, mixed emotions. So, next year, or this, you know, coming up December will be different. Hopefully, and won't be so traumatic. Just get through it. But I'm not going to carry those feelings over into this year. I'm just gonna go on with my life and that's about all I can do and do the things I need to do and the things that I want to do so I don't have too many resolutions other than that you know just 
Just keep moving. Just keep swimming, as Dory said. Just keep swimming. I love that movie. See if I can get that. Sometimes when you're on the edge, you can't get the diamonds to stick. I got lucky that time. If I just work on this thing, like, all the time, I'd probably get something done, but... I don't know, I just haven't felt like diamond painting, and I felt like stitching more, and I guess that's what it's there for. Just to do a different project, and just haven't felt like starting anything. I mean, those other two projects were the biggest starts that I've had. You know, sewing projects, and I figured that was daunting enough. And, uh... I mean, I've got, I must have 75 diamond paintings strewn about this whole place. But, uh, I just don't want to start any others. Just, no. And I'm out of containers, so that would mean I'd have to put them in baggies, and I'm not real fond of diamond painting out of baggies. That sometimes doesn't work for me. So... We'll just keep working on the old ones. That uh, Chuck Pinson one from uh, Diamond Art Club is sure beautiful with all those red trees and the old cars and the old street. and Yeah, it's right up my alley, but I don't know. Not happening this month. Not happening. Whoops. That, that was great. Did you see that? I missed the whole thing. It's embarrassing. I go there so slowly, trying not to, for anything to drop off and miss the entire whole line that I was supposed to get to, because when I went to put it down, it hit something else and threw it all off. So, Okay, we got all them done. Oh, good. Got that part covered. So I set my stuff on trying to finish this edge so no great plans for this week may I go out to uh, lunch with my daughter and my probably my granddaughter this week hang on she's prancing no she just wants to go and park whoops I unlock the door first oh she won't be out there long it's about seven Actually, I don't know what the, the temperature is exactly, but it feels like 7, let me tell you. It was kind of chilly at work. I mean, there there wasn't a lot of wind like there has been. Oh, man. <coughs> 3841. 3841. Oh, another pretty blue. Imagine that. Shock, shock, surprise, surprise. And it's kind of a uh, medium light. It's it's not pale. So, oops! It might help if I get them on the the thing. We've got a nice big space here. We can put these all in, and they don't have to be all done one by one. Thank goodness. Okay, we're losing this gushy because it's kind of driving me crazy. I know. If I'd just taken a little super glue or my hot glue gun, it wouldn't have moved. But I don't know where that's at right now. I know I have a couple of them, but not a clue. Like I said, that whole room, come spring, that room is getting cleaned out and crap thrown away. And, you know, that needs to be thrown away. There's lots of uh, empty boxes and stuff. I kind of like to wait until after Christmas in case my daughter says, Do you have a box? Because I got to pack up so and so, but she didn't say that this year, so I guess we can safely throw them out because they're just taking up space and I'd like to utilize that room. So I don't know if, that I'd move this table in there because it's just not worth it moving it 
for one time of the year or another. Like I said, it's better in there. But I'd like to get some shelves from somewhere to uh, organize all that crap that, like I said, is in boxes. I just uh, put it all together and shoved it in that room because I was done. And it was getting in my way and I couldn't diamond paint, so... Just make way for new crap. But it really needs to be stored, you know. Because it's all, like, mixed media stuff, paints. I'd like to have a place where I can put the paints up, you know, that I can see them so that I could actually use them if I wanted to or if I wanted the grandkids to come over. They love to paint and do projects. We paint on rocks. We paint on paper. You know, they just love that kind of crap. So, I'd like to have a room that I could utilize instead of it just being a storage cubby, you know? I get tired of that. And gotta move things around, so, yeah, that that's my spring plans. And it's just too daunting to do in the winter and too much crap to haul out because some of it's going. And, uh, so we'll see. That's the plan. We don't have any house plans per se, you know, like having to work on anything on the house. I do need to paint the porch because I got the stain. I don't know if it's even still good, but I bought like a can of that real thin stain to do my porch, but my daughter has to get over here with the, uh, hang on, I gotta let her in, I told you she wouldn't be gone. Kinda cold out there, huh? Okay, she got that out of her system. Um, whoops, sorry, my bad. I'm right close to the, the leg of the table. Um, I just need to make it like a functional art room, if you will. So that'll be my main focus, you know, to see if I can find something like that at a yard sale or at the, sometimes they have stuff like that at the thrift store and the other one. So we'll see, we will see. Whoops. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. I put that on the wrong thing. <sighs> oh well, it's snow. It'll be fine. It's not like we don't have any beads. We'll go over here where we can't screw up. Oh, shush, Molly. God almighty. Sorry, guys. It just drives me crazy. Oh, sure. I go to put them away, and then... Oh, no, that's plastic. All right. I was like, I'm going to put that away, and there's 16 of them that I need to do. It's time to wipe my uh, little tray down with some uh, sanitizer, because it's starting to stick. But I just use... Uh, I don't see it right now, right off hand, but I use hand sanitizer on a piece of paper towel and wipe this off, and it keeps it from being so staticky and sticky. So, I don't know. We got all that part done. You see the grass, and there's the two birds. Can you see the birds? Yep. There's two birds sitting on that brown fence, and then there's a a bow right there. So, like I said, one color at a time. Let me leave this out for a while. Work on it here and there today. I don't know. Haven't made up my mind. Alright, guys. Well, thank you for joining me today and listening to me ramble on. 
if uh, you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell and that way you'll know when my next video comes up y'all have a good rest of your sunday and a good rest of your weekend god bless bye bye